spreading stop we need to stop spreading the falsehoods manufactured in england and telling you that these things were manufactured don't spread them don't spread what they manufactured against you and your people get the truth that's why we come here for you to get the truth go ahead please my sister thank you Congress assembly could not have approved the NYSC Act, that's another campaign that we're going to launch sooner than later. Let us finish with the urgent task. The NYSC decree of 1973, for those who have been proudly wearing their uniform of NYSC, you don't question anything. We had a problem that took us to war. War ended. Instead of going to solve the issues that are still unresolved to this date, these same issues we are raising today were the things that took us to war in 1967. How do we live together? Was that not the issue that they went to Aburi and agreed, and then they came back and go on and go abandon it at the direction of the British and began to kill people, to lock everybody down to what we have seen now? Now, instead of going to solve that problem, you now set up a scheme in which you took young people who may not have been who may not have been politically conscious when the trouble began to say ah let the young people mix up the children of the north will come to the south and see their country the children of the south will go to the north and see their country mm -hmm. and as they mix up they will understand themselves better and it will be el dorado thereafter that's the front that, that's 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 uh, that's uh, the front uh, 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 screen. At the back end, the NYSC was a scheme by which the children of Sokoto, the children of Kano, the children of Meduguri were sent to go and serve in Lagos, in Porakot, in Wari where they will be retained after the service year in NMPC in MPA, in Central Bank, and all such institutions. Whereas the children of Lagos, the children of Ibado, the children of Wari, the children of Enugu, the children of Port are sent to go and perish in Kauranamoda, in Gashua, in Brinin, Terekebi, wherever. And you get there, there is no prospect of any kind of job. Mm. You are taken to rural places to go to teach. 90% of the bureaucracy of how Nigeria is being managed, whether you went to NNPC or you went to Central Bank or you went to any of all these other places, the recruitment process was in that standing instruction of retain them when they come to serve in your place in Port Harcourt and And then they put it in that constitution. NYSC. NYSC is in a part of the constitution that requires four over five majority. That is Land Use Act, NYSC Act. What was Land Use the, the decree? They, they called it Act when they imposed the constitution later. What was the NYS, what was the land use decree? The land ownership system in the north was one in which the Emir owned everything, owned everything and and gave only those he chose. If he didn't give you, he didn't get. In the South, it was, was different. Lands belonged to individuals and on some occasion, communities. And so if you if you worked hard, you got the quantity, your family could inherit so much, you could, you, could, you could buy so much, but all amongst right to private property. The North, this same caliphate targeting the lands of the South and everybody else in the Middle Belt decided to bring the land use decree in which government became the owner of all the lands. In that military era, the governors who were now to be uh, holding, the governors were appointed, uh, 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 governor of uh, your state who come from Kebi, the governor of uh, uh, Imo who come from Zafara and all of that. So these generals, these, these genocide generals you see that are still hanging around like a demon today, they took the choicest lands all across the length and breadth of Nigeria under that land use decree, which they then smuggled into that constitution by the instrumentality of Obasanjo 
that introduced 17 amendments after the Constituent Assembly had submitted this clean copy. 17 amendments. One such amendment is to restore for the caliphate the states that the Constituent Assembly rejected as basic as federating units instead of the regions. That was how we lost all our economic assets. For the liars and charlatans that are spreading the story of how EROC did the EROC decree number 34 did not touch the structure of the Federation of Nigeria. Anybody from the South and Middle Belt who has education and who is spreading that falsehood that was captured in Britain and nurtured in Soko will labor under the course because EROC had been killed on the 29th of July in 1966. Almost one year to the time on the 27th of May in 1967, when Lieutenant Colonel Yakubu Gowon did the bidding of his masters in the attempt to stop the East from declaring Biafra in the in, in, uh, three days from that point. That was the first time the four regions structure of the Federation of Nigeria was tampered with. 27th of May, 1967, Iroshi only formed an administration that some kind of governance by the military, because the federal government had been decapitated, two of the regional governments had been, everything was in this area, had been decapitated by those, the people that stayed the coup did not get to power. The Zongwan Ko didn't get to power, they were stopped. Eros only happened to be the most senior military officer. He had to be the head, he was the head of the army. He fell on him to rally people back to some kind of a, so the governors were appointed for the four regions. That will tell you that the, that the regions were still intact. Usman Kasina for the north, killed uh, 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 later for the west, Ojuku in the east, Ejo in the midwest. These four military administrators, sitting with the, 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 the head of the army, became the, 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 the Supreme Military Council. Of course, they had the head of uh, the police and uh, two other service chiefs joining them. That was what the Supreme Military Council was all about. That was the only governance. The parliament could not be functioning in the period where there's no government of uh, civil, civil rule. So they took over the functions of uh, the parliament in that emergency to stabilize, to stop the killings and stabilize things six months down the road. People who read, it, who read their own meanings to say oh, it was uh, it was evil coup. Nigeria is dying today because Nigeria was trying to kill the Igbo on account of various falsehoods manufactured in England. You saw the German that was telling the story of uh, the, what transpired. These things are falsehoods. And people with education from the South, because they think, uh, they, they think that uh, once Igbo is killed, their life will be better. Look at what is happening all over the place just about 50 years in all these places where people are being slaughtered. Look back through, through the years and see why people are being slaughtered in the various places they are being slaughtered today. If not for the lunatic that came to restore Biafra in, his, in, his, in, his, in, in the air, in the east, the east wouldn't have been, uh, you know, uh, in the, wouldn't have been at the receiving end of Nigeria, but for the madmen that said they want to restore the Biafra that has no boundary. At a time where we are putting the monster that is holding them down to, to, to death, they sabotaged that effort and they went about killing our own people because they want to make money from, from dying people. So, where we are now, just to tell you that the people we are dealing with know what they are doing, but our own people refuse to know. It was that thing that Harcourt, that, that uh, betrothal that Harcourt was talking about, that was what Amadou Bello was celebrating in 1960. At the time, the British will now leave.
handing us over. They, they had, we had been betrothed to them in 1914. The one that did the betrothal is going. Amadou Bello was now the one to receive the full control of all of us from them. And that was what he was celebrating when he told the listeners in the first week of independence in 1960 that the new nation called Nigeria should be an asset of uh, their great grandfather of Mandamfodio and that they must ruthlessly prevent a change of power. They use the minorities of the North as willing tools and the South as a conquered territory. Never allow them to rule over, to allow us to rule over them and never allow us to have control over our own future. These are the things that, uh, you know, he was telling them he was, he was as a premier of Northern Nigeria, Sir Amadou Bello, celebrating the grand bequest by the British crown. The, that grand bequest is that 1913 explanation that we were now, as the South, we were now being handed over to the North as a, the, the, the were described as Southern Lady of Means. All right, we'll stop this video here to give a recap. I mean, this whole thing makes so much sense now. You know, we used to read this Osman Damfodio estate for you guys, not even knowing all the background information. We know that he has a lot of confidence. You can see somebody was backing him. You can see that he was in charge. For him to be put on a radio to broadcast to all of our people, you can see they have had their own meetings, discuss what they wanted to discuss, and they wanted to test him and see if he has the God to say what he, to do what he said he would do. That's what this is all about. And our people are still not getting it in 2024. That when you look at that background information, that you were handed over as a little child. Our brother did a wonderful job in explaining that to you, to us. You get a little child, you have a friend that maybe have done some good things for you. You know, you guys are business partners. You, oh yeah, you will marry my daughter one day. Here, here, here is your, the child. That's exactly what they did to you, me, and everybody else. Not just in Africa, even here in America, they are still holding people hostage in the name of, you know, we live in the land of free. How can you live in the land of free when you are giving money to sing songs about destroying your own people, destroying your own neighborhood. You must stop spreading falsehood manufactured in England. That falsehood is still alive and well. In 2024, they had the, the audacity to come and check to see if their subjects are still in check. That's what that visit is all about. Nobody know. likes you. They wanted to make sure that the Nollywood people, the... Uh, Ivy League students, graduates, the ones that are running the IMF and the World Bank and them one and them one, that they are still under their stronghold. Yes. That's all they came to check. And you guys checked all the marks. Check, check. Oh, yeah. The slaves are still working in the slave. Oh, yes. We got them. They are yes. still in tax. Yes. yes. We are doing good. Shame on you guys. And, and give them solidarity. Give solidarity, uh, solidarity visits to their puppets. You know, we are with you. Keep enslaving your people. Yes, we'll come and wear necklace and answer your name. Mm. Hey, who did this voodoo? The only thing that spreading falsehood that is manufactured in England, we will always lead to constant massacre and slaughter of our people. Because you guys don't want to listen. You're stuck in the churches pretending like you're the child of God <laughs> when everything that you guys are doing are against God. Ninas is on the table talking about freedom for every indigenous peoples. And people are not getting it. But you Naga church Monday through Sunday. Hmm? Carrying your cross on your chest. But you don't want the same for another human being. So these are all falsehoods that they manufactured in England. If you go to church more and more, pray, stay awake, do night vigil, then all of a sudden you will get... Uh, wealth, it, like you, you, your life will become okay. Hmm. It's been manufactured to keep you down. So you helping them to maintain that structure, that falsehood that was created, that the more you pray, the more you fast, the more you do night vigil, then your success will come. It's falsehood manufactured in Europe. 
by the colonizers. They package them. Why they are creating jobs, building factories with your resources and creating jobs for their children and their children are doing well. They create a falsehood for you that if you stay in church where your mega pastor is washing you, that you continue to shout in the night, then one day money will enter your account. And you are helping to spread that falsehood and dying in it. You need to stop. You need to stop. Yes, you, 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 you need to stop. The white man is colonizing you. But you are spreading the, the concussion Oh, if you go to NYSC, then you will become one. You are not one. You are not meant to be one. God created you to be different. You are diverse. You can collaborate, but not become one. Do you it know that these people are so wicked that they transported this brainwashing church to diaspora where we are? Yes. As so they can doing. hold us hostage too because they know white people are not going to come to that, our church. No. The other ethnicity is not going to It's going to be us, those uh, African mad people that left they left their country so yes. they allow them to transport the same church there so that you and your mother even when you're outside the space they are following you continue to be brainwashed so, to bring, make sure the brainwash is complete you have run out of the land hey that they made uninhabitable for you as you are running they follow you with their fake christianity so that you will not practice what you've learned in england about freedom of your people exactly you will continue with the brainwashing exactly so, so that it can be complete, you will never be free. Rather, you will be doing party while your people are dying. Hey, they will do crusade for you. They will bring you out in the night, teaching you about Jesus, Jesus that came for liberation. But they will not support Ninas so that you can have that liberation. Who is fooling who? Stop spreading the falsehood manufactured in England. You need to stop. You, 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 you need to stop. Because it's leading to the massacre of the people. You need to seek truth. On every matter, there is a purpose. For everything God has created on earth, for anything God said we should do, there's a purpose. Ask yourself, what the purpose? The church you're going. People in Abba, you open shop, pray from morning till 10, thinking that is that prayer you're praying that will bring customers and that make you to sell. Stop spreading falsehood. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's not how things are done. Our ancestors did not do things that way. Our ancestors got discovered that if you eat bitter leaf, it's food, but you have to wash it. Our ancestors got discovered Ozoza, Otazi. All these things they discovered. That is science. That is nutrition. Everything they had it. It was not called in English, but they did not get it by being stupid and allowing the colonial masters to brainwash them. That's not how they got it. They had their own spirituality. You inherited it. That is your heritage. Go back to it. Stop spreading the falsehood that they created. They told you that May 27, 1967, four regions structured, four regions, like, like they structured it. What did they do in May 27? They balkanized it into states. Just like 1984-85. The balkanization, uh, balkanization of Africa. Anyone saying otherwise is the enemy of the indigenous people. The back, that is balkanization. The states they created is balkanization. May 27, 1967. They fractured the four regions, four independent regions that you had. Balkanized it into states. Anybody telling you that you're going to those states will become prosperous tomorrow is lying. That is them taking away your sovereignty. It is not promoting development. Those fake leaking baskets called states will never give you what you're seeking for. If you are spreading it, if you are supporting it, you are not doing yourself well. So, Iran, uh, not Iran, uh, Iran C did not destroy the free truth uh, federation that we had. It is the enemy that destroyed the truth federation by balkanizing the four regions on May 27, 1967, into 12 states. Gawan was in charge leading that balkanization. 
if you're saying otherwise, it is falsehood that you're spreading. And this falsehood you're spreading will not help you to get to light so that your people can be free. Those who abandoned Aburi Accord, they are the ones that committed genocide. Because the Aburi Accord was supposed to take us to confederation. What happened? They abandoned it. Instead, they set up NYSC, like you heard our brother say in the show. And that NYSC, we told you, that scheme is monkey they walk, baboon they chop. It is not for your development. It is not for anything, unity or anything. No, no, no. It's so that your own children that are hard working, we go in wrong places. And those ones, the puppets that they want, they will put in certain place. So that you have a system, a mediocre system, a system of monkey, they walk, baboon, they chop. They do not mean well for our people. These are agents of Britain. Stop spreading their falsehood. Seek truth on everything that they have done in that country. Do not spread what they are spreading. Go to the back end to see the reason, the real reason why they did. So that you will not be spreading these things that they created in England without knowing. The flag independence of 1960 was Britain, the external colonizers, handing over the indigenous peoples of the alliance territory. That's the southern lady of Mainz. So the poor husband, the caliphate knots, we heard it in the audio. We are only recapping for you. It is Britain. Lie. It is a lie from Britain that colonization ended 1960. It did not end. That's why we call it neocolonization. What you had 1960 was flag independence, not end of colonization. They just remove one uniform, put another one. Just like you saw PDP and APC. They will remove the uniform of PDP. Wear uniform of APC. They are the same criminals. From APC, PDP, they will remove uniform and wear Labour Party and move. It's the same criminals moving from one point to the other. So colonization has not ended. They only handed over. The external colonizers handed over to internal colonizers. So we're explaining to you that that's what the premier of Northern Nigeria, so-called uh, Sir Amadou Bello, the internal colonizer, was speaking of in the battle of 1960 scripts that my sister will soon pull up for us. <laughs> so that's what they were talking about. They received full control of all the indigenous peoples in that geographical space. I will allow my sister to continue. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, there's a way you handle this section that, so please just go ahead. <laughs> go, go ahead, yes, I'm trying to pull something up. Okay, so we, so we, we in the video, in the audio, you heard our brother mention this, battle scripts that we told you about. He said what he repeated, what the so-called uh, Sabad Amadou Bello, I don't even know why they put Sa. It's, it's all these British people giving them the, all the titles. He says Nigeria, the new nation called Nigeria, should be an estate of our great grandfather, Usman Danfodio. If you've not, like Google Usman Danfodio, Google it, Google Ottoman Empire, check Middle East, check all over to see what is going on so that certain things will be making sense to you. For those that are just talking what they don't understand, he said that this country called Nigeria is the estate hmm. of their great grandfather, Usman Dumfadio. He said, you must ruthlessly prevent a change of power, ruthlessly. That means it's not just talking to you. They will... Pfft, <laughs> Buy you, remove your head. If you say any other thing, if you want to do it, they'll remove your head. And we have seen it happen. We saw how they dealt with Awolo. We saw how they dealt with uh, 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 Abiola. We saw how they dealt with uh, all these people. Either they come physically or they'll give you tea. Uh -huh. If you want to do otherwise, they will send uh, their secretary uh, to give you tea. Uh, you drink and go and visit your people. So they, they know. So they say, we will use the minorities of the North as willing tools. The minorities of North are talking about the people in the present-day Middle Belt as willing tools 
and the south as a conquered territory. That's what we tell that we are all conquered. And never allow them to rule over us and never allow them to have control over their future. This is what somebody broadcasted, not hidden, he said it loud. This is Fulani conquest agenda. And we can see it living out. You can see it every day. We have been conquered, people. 1999 uh, constitution is the tool used to conquer everyone. Nigerians should have heeded Nina's warnings. They are full and we are coming for them and their lands. And even now, to prevent more killings by the immigrant settler Fulani for land grabbing, turn to Nina's plan. There is a plan, there's a solution on the table. That is Nina's template. And we are thanking God and thanking, excuse me, people that, uh, 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 that uh, Nigerian elder, Christian Elders Forum. We see the joy youths. This is what we want all of you to be doing, to say, this is what we want. This is what we want. That is building consensus. As you are doing that, it's promoting what we are doing and the noise will take over the whole discussion. And people like Ruben Abati practicing brown journalism, we have no choice than discuss what we are saying. We will put the menu on the table. We will put the agenda on the table. They will not have choice. You are the one sharing their message now. Power belongs to the people. You just don't understand your power yet. So the indigenous ethnic nations have sovereignty. Not Fulani, not Caliphate, not Britain. And not the traitor political class or their church leaders, uh, uh, friends, who uphold the 1999 constitution. These are enabling the Fulani conquest agenda. But you know what? You, the people, are the ones watching them do it. They are swallowing you and you're watching them do it. Continue to share, like, and subscribe because this information must get to the people. We need to stop spreading falsehoods manufactured in England. Those calling our people <clears throat> into the streets, like they're doing NSADs. Oh, if we now come out and do NSADs, then we get better life. That's a lie. They will buy you. You are doing NSADs without any strategy or how to dismantle the 1999 constitution that is creating the NSADs, that is creating the SARS, creating all the institutions that is killing you, making the people to act and destroy you. These people are lying to you. They are endangering you. Anybody telling you to come out to protest for one stupid thing or the other, uh, labor will call for an uh, increase, a labor increase. Uh, my sister said, terrorists, Amadou Bello. Yes, it's better to call it terrorists, Amadou Bello. Amal and Kana, yeah, yeah. So these people calling you to come out and protest for one stupid thing or the other, they are spreading falsehood. Because the falsehood is that the more you protest for the wrong thing, one day, the wrong thing will not become right. No. The only enemy you have is 1999 Constitution. Every other thing was created and is being maintained by 1999 Constitution. Pull down that, decommission it. And this week, uh, uh, the Nigerian National uh, Christians uh, Elders Forum, sorry, I keep missing up their names. They are now doing prayers conference. We started um, yesterday, uh, Friday. We'll continue to Sunday. So tomorrow is dinner's day for that event. We have shared it. Go and join them because they are talking about decommissioning 1999 constitution. That's what everybody will be saying by now. But if you're not saying that and saying another thing, you're spreading the distraction from England, the falsehood sent from England to distract you so that you leave the important things and be talking things that do not make sense. Agents or politicians trying to smuggle 2014 conference reports is as the decision, okay, trying to smuggle in 2014 conference report as the decision of the people of Nigeria are British agents. That thing they manufactured, that 2014 report is not the people's report. It's not the people's wish. It's falsehood, fabricated, cooked, brought in from England, championed by Emeka Anyoko, and uh, the lawyer that calls himself uh, uh, Zokome, all the time. Uh -huh. 
these are false. Don't spread. Don't be part of it. Don't be with them. Don't join them to spread the falsehood. It is not true. Those who confiscated our lands and shared them among themselves, e.g. Otter Farm, are enemies of the people. They are not statesmen, as the West will want you to believe. So stop calling them statesmen. They are not your statesmen. The people that stole your land and took your resources or passenger, they are not your statements. Stop promoting them. Stop spreading them as your statement. That is, that means you're spreading the falsehood cooked up in England. We are talking about falsehoods. We have talk, we told you the hidden mechanisms. We are not telling you the falsehood that they cooked, cooked in England, manufactured it and brought it here. And you are the one helping them to spread it. Stop. <laughs> I know. Call it Political parties. <laughs> yeah, political parties organizing elections under 1999 constitution are liars and people's enemy. Stop believing them that one day if they will continue to do election under 1999 constitution, then you have freedom. That's a lie cooked up in the pit of hellfire called Britain. Lawyers pretending that slaves, that slaves, Nigerians are citizens. No, you are not. They are spreading falsehood from England. There's no day that all of a sudden a slave will now wake up and now become citizen. So any lawyer that is telling you that you are a citizen of Nigeria, you are spreading falsehood cooked up in Britain. Stop it. Nigeria as currently constituted is a pack of lies, pile of lies. Anyone promoting it is an enemy and a liar, including church leaders who are still promoting and praying for Nigeria. God cannot bless such a lie. So anybody saying God bless Nigeria is spreading falsehood manufactured in England. God cannot bless lie. God cannot bless something that was set in, put in place against others. Yes, against his people. Anyone saying that, come, let's pray for Nigeria. No, you are praying for the people of Nigeria. Peoples of Nigeria, not for Nigeria. That entity created by Britain, manufactured in England, you should not be praying for it. It is the case of slavery. You will be praying against it, not praying for it. The peoples, the owners of the land, are the ones that will walk towards their freedom by understanding what we are teaching. Advocacy and enlightenment is what we are promoting. Don't carry any gun, carry any matcha because there's no need. The land belongs to you. You are living in your land. You just need to drive the people that are on your land using 1999 constitution. It's as simple as that. Have you learned anything today? Have you learned anything new today? Write it in the comments and spread to your family members. I will allow us to play the past, last part of this video. Please bear mm -hmm. with us. We are standing, extending um, time, but it's because we want to just finish this video uh, in this session. Thank you. you don't want to because it's 27 minutes left. Oh, so do we break it and come back next week? Yeah, yeah, let's break okay. it. It's okay. almost 1.30. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today as usual. Like, have you learned anything new today? Please put that down in the comment. And these are the things that we need to do to send this information. Make sure that our people get this. Those who rejected the atrocious, okay, someone is still writing. Uh, that our people get this message. You know, we are making waves. This is the only way to undo the evil that these people painstake, well, they didn't painstake it. Should I say painstakingly forced mm -hmm. it upon us? That we are going to painstakingly take it down. Yes. One day at a time. One day at a time. And the day this thing will begin to come together as a puzzle in all of our brains, man, this party is over. You will never welcome welcome any uh, prince or princess that come to check the subject to see how they you you will never be part of that whether mm. you're a celebrity in the mall or a world bank manager or whatever you will never never partake in anything like that so until next week brothers and sisters this video again here is a link this video to me should be the bible of the year for our, for our freedom I'm not saying that you shouldn't know your Bible because a lot of you don't know your Bible. If we do, we wouldn't be at this uh, man, am I on email? But meanwhile, for us to solve the problem on the table, 
we need to listen to this video when you're washing your car cooking this weekend please put on your earpiece so you can understand you can understand it's a game changer if you ask me it's a game changer for those of you that are confused for those of you wanting to amend constitution for those of you wanting to pray for nigeria for those of you wanting to do all manner of, of things that if you listen to this audio yeah so until next week, brothers and sisters. Can I put the last section of this so that we'll just remind them of the meeting tomorrow as we close? Oh, That's where the National Prayer Altar. Uh, the theme is Nigeria, the dilemma and way out. The commissioning the 1999 constitution. It started Friday 17th and it's going to end tomorrow, Sunday 19th. And uh, it's 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. It's one hour 30 minutes. So uh, our own uh, uh, barrister Tony Nadi will be speaking tomorrow. Please be part of it so that you understand how edits are the law. Thank you so much. So the Zoom information is right there um, at the bottom of this page. Um, if you have that, you should be able to log in. I don't know if I should type it. Let me just type it in the, um, in the comments. In the comments, so it will be easy for you to it's click. Okay. Zero five, zero five. Okay. Pass code, yeah, so that if you want to join tomorrow, you will use that and just input that information in the Zoom and you will be part of the conversation. Yes, please. Um, Zoom ID number 968061905 pass code. Zero two four one eight four. Zero two four one eight four four. Tomorrow, what time again? Nine p.m. Nine um Nigerian time. Yeah, nine to ten thirty p.m. Nine. Please. Nigerian time. This thing's making sense. You are the one that will push the conversation to the table, not Ruben Abati. Ruben Abati is collecting brown envelope. You, you see, stomach is doing journalism for. But you, the people, we push them. You go to the comment section. You'll be typing what is telling you. Make them to begin to discuss your matter. That's the only thing that is what being discussed. Nothing again. Right. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Good seeing you. Don't worry, we will win this war. You see how those are about women. The women that tie up on the chest. <laughs> Undermine the British monsters and colonial terrorists. You can imagine with our education and internet how far we can go. Take care till next week. Bye. Bye.